Since the 1940s, young children have been reported missing near a network of underground tunnels. No sign of the missing children has ever been found, but if anything, their disappearances are just the start of a much larger mystery. It's said the screaming of terrified children can be heard echoing within the tunnels by those standing close. It's also said that those who follow the echoes inside will find themselves in a land where human civilization doesn't reach. There are many who believe the tunnels are a gateway to a vast underground world, one where giants and reptilian monsters rule. Malta is a tiny island nation in the Mediterranean. Due to its location, it was for centuries an important stronghold for Christian knights. The Knights of Malta were known as some of the best soldiers of the Crusades, and they defended the island well. At one time, the Ottoman Empire attempted to invade the island to gain control of the Mediterranean. The Knights were only around 6,000 strong, and the Ottomans were six times as many. The Ottomans beheaded the Christian knights they had captured, and pushed their crucified bodies on wooden crosses to float towards Malta. But the Knights of Malta were not easily intimidated. They beheaded their Ottoman prisoners and used their severed heads as cannonballs. Eventually, other European powers helped to defeat the Ottomans, and the Knights continued their rule in Malta. They left many secrets in Malta. Rumours of them hiding Crusader loot among the island's many caverns and underground tunnels have been told for a long time. The Knights were suddenly banished from Malta by Napoleon in 1798. The sudden shift is thought to have left many of their secrets covered up, and in recent years, Lost Crusader tunnels have been discovered. They haven't been fully explored, but they aren't even Malta's most mysterious tunnels. In 1902, two labourers were digging foundations for a new development. The ground opened up beneath their feet and one of the men fell into a cavern. Looking around, he found himself at the entrance of an underground tunnel complex. It said the men kept their discovery secret until what they witnessed inside the complex scared them into telling a priest. Quite what they saw within it is unknown. It was named Hypogeum, which means underground in Latin. It appears to be a prehistoric temple complex. The skeletons of 7,000 people were found inside the complex. The skeletons were kept in various locations but have since gone missing. No trace of these skeletons has been seen since their disappearance. But looking back at photographs of skulls found within the Hypogeum, and of research notes from the time, something doesn't seem right. The skulls were described as elongated and abnormally large. In 1920, National Geographic reported that ancient Malta may have been home to a race of long-skulled people. With the skulls missing, we can't be sure if they once belonged to a now extinct human species. 20 years later, in 1940, National Geographic once again mentioned the Hypogeum. It told of various subterranean tunnels that weren't fully explored. Guides would warn against exploring the Tunnels. They formed a dark and complex maze of passages in which it would be easy to forget the way out. A local class of 30 school children visited the Hypogeum. Ignoring warnings, they entered the complex and dark network of unmapped tunnels. From the moment they walked into the tunnel, the children were never seen again. Such subterranean tunnels were sealed off to prevent any other tragedies like this. That's where the National Geographic piece ended. And since then, rumour tells the screams of those children can be heard echoing from within the tunnels. Other rumours tell the tunnels stretch hundreds of miles into the earth and once served as a link between human civilization and something else. Shortly before the school children disappeared within the Hypogeum, a British embassy worker wrote about her strange experience in the tunnels. She was at the Hypogeum with several friends, and being young and naive, decided to explore the tunnel that was not part of their guided tour. She walked into the small tunnel first, holding a lit candle as it was pitch black. Her friends following behind held on to the long sash she was wearing. At the other end of the tunnel, she found a ledge and a sheer drop in front of her. It must have been a 50-foot drop, but on the platform below, she could see 20 figures. They were walking upright like humans, but they were clearly not. They were covered in thick hair and more than 10 feet tall. On seeing them, she froze with fear, but as the candle was in her hand still burning brightly, the giant creatures noticed her. All 20 of them raised their arms into the air as if reaching towards her. At this point, a gust of winds blew out her candle. She panicked, rushing back through the tunnel. Her friends asked what she saw. She said nothing, but insisted 
insisted they leave. She decided never to reveal what she saw and so her friends had no idea why she was scared that day. But after hearing about the disappearance of 30 children within the tunnel, she went back. A different tour guide was now working there. So she asked what happened to the guide who led her and her friends. The new guide said that he was the only guide and for many years had been the site's only guide. It was this that caused her to write about the experience. Some have since linked her story to an old legend surrounding Malta. There are many megalithic temples across Malta. They are some of the world's oldest structures. Local folklore tells that the temples were built by a race of giants who once called the island home. But long ago, the giants abandoned their temples. In fact, they abandoned the whole island, retreating to an underground world where they rule. The giants knew humans would one day rule Earth, so they simply walked into the underworld. It's unknown if they dug the tunnels or if it existed long before the giants. If Maltese folklore is true, the giant's descendants could still exist within the Earth. The sealed subterranean tunnels, the ones used by the missing children and the woman who claimed to encounter large creatures, could be gateways to their underworld. It would explain the terrified screaming heard after the disappearances. They say the children took the same route as the embassy worker, but where she stopped they lowered themselves down to the next level using rope. The rope was found severed as if cut by a blade. With a lifeline cut, they were easy prey for the giants, and so authorities sealed off the tunnel, which, if is to be believed, anyone wanting to explore the underground land of giants would just need to access the tunnel. There are countless more mysteries of the Hypogeum. A video like this can only scratch the surface. If you're new and you want more content like this, subscribe. If you want to support me, please share my videos with people you know.